So here we are again with another little video in response to some of the things we see on YouTube. Um, again, on YouTube people show lots of different techniques they have in their styles of Hapkido. And on watching them, several things occur to me that we want to demonstrate in terms of the things that we have in our school or things that we consider important. So this time it's about locks, how locks are applied and doing locks in flowing drills. I was sent some information from several flow drills that people wanted me to observe on YouTube. And I saw some really interesting ones. People were flowing from one lock to the next exceedingly quickly. And lots of very fast hand movements and the person they were putting locks on was getting driven back and forth by the lock movement. And several things struck me about every single one that I saw. There were, there were a couple of similarities that happened in all cases. When we do a lock, the person reaches forward and grabs me here, the lock itself may be operating on his wrist and elbow and shoulder, for example, what we call an angle two, what other people call a Z lock, outside turn, drop the weight, and so on. Now, in that case, when I did it, I turned, I put my body in position, and then I used my arms to apply the lock. And yet, the way we do it, we prefer not to actually apply it in that fashion. Now, most of the videos I saw set the body's position and then move the arms to create the lock. In our case, we prefer to sit here as we step into position, we put the lock on, and then we drop our weight so that our center applies the lock to the movement. That doesn't mean we have to bounce up and down, but simply stepping back and dropping my weight into the correct stance, because that's how stances are used, to drop into position. We step here as I drop my weight, boom, the lock moves on. I don't have to fight my arm strength versus his. Okay, my body weight does the work. I don't step here and then try and apply the lock this way. Okay, I relax, and as I come into the stance and I grasp here, I drop my weight, and the lock occurs. So, we hold this true for all our locks, that it comes from the center of our body. Sometimes the lock is applied by rotational movement. Sometimes it's applied by dropping the weight, whether it's forward or backwards. Sometimes it's from a combination of those. But all of it comes from the center, not comes from the arm motion. So, when doing flow drills, one of the things I saw was someone was moving from a basic, what we call angle two, stepping forward to an arm bar, and then coming back and either doing this lock or often this lock. And most of what I saw looked like this. Okay? In various incarnations. Now, you notice when I did that, this part of me didn't move up and down at all. There was mild turning, but I stepped in, I stepped out, and my arms did all the way. We kind of operate under the assumption that we're going to be smaller than our attacker and thus probably weaker than them. I'm not definitely not the strongest person in the world. Matt's bigger than I am and he's in a lot better shape than I am. So the idea that if he grabs my wrist, I step out here, and using my two arms, I can force his arm into a position is not something I'm going to believe. On the other hand, if he grabs me, if he grabs me hard, I step out and drop my weight here, drop. There's my lock. Now, if he's really strong and he folds his arm toward me or extends it out, in this case it's sin, I turn, drop my weight forward. If he manages to bend his arm and get his hand down, I turn, and my body motion does the work for me. So we want to have this in our style so that this movement, where our center is and how it's shifting, does all the work. He grabs, I step out, I drop, I push, I turn, and the lowering of my weight and the motion of my center creates the resistance that causes him to fall, or actually creates the force that causes him to fall. If he resists me, and I do it just with arm movement, here's what it looks like, okay? 50% resistance, no center movement. Okay, here, I do this, and I can fight it, I can step through, and then I pull back, and it takes too much effort. And you can see, I'm having to work hard and do it all with arm movement. Now, I'm going to do it again, he's going to do slightly more resistance. I'm going to relax my arms. You won't see my elbows come up. They're down. But all the movement's going to come from the center. He grabs. He's resisting. Here we go. Relax. Push. Step. And the circular movement in turn does all the work for me. So, in our style, all the movement has to come from here. Yes, where my arms are and where my hands are and where I'm grabbing him and where I'm applying the pressure obviously makes a difference. But how I'm applying it is by movement from my center. Lock and flow drills look great if someone's just flying through and their arms are waving and intertwining. But if it's not going to work, it's not helpful. Okay. Now, that's our opinion, and that's the way we do it. it comes from the center, we drop our weight.